Yo, 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 yo. What up, Incorporation Nation? It's your boy, Isaac Hansu. The lyrical, climerical. No, wait, climerical? The lyrical, clerical, chimerical VTuber. <laughs> uh, rapping, slapping, and making things happen. How, how many rhymes can I fit into my intro? I'm gonna run out of time for show. <laughs> oh. Hello, hello, hello. And welcome back. Welcome back to this wonderful world of Blender animation. Whoa, we're actually doing it. Holy smokes. Uh, and right now we've got this happening. What? 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 So I think I think I, I think I figured out the process that I, I want to do for this. Uh, the first thing we want to animate is the guy, right? Um, then the next thing we want to animate is the camera angle. Then the last thing we want to animate is the lights. Because the, the, the lights kind of depend heavily on the camera angle, right? So we don't want, okay, auto keying is turned off. Um, so we want to figure out what the best lighting is for this particular thing. Also, uh, under background at color. I think there's an easier way to get um, I think there's a better way to get uh, just a black background. Viewport settings. Uh huh. Oh, that's a lot of colors. Yo, Ray, what's up, bro? How's it going? Use the scene lights, please. Uh, how am I? I'm doing good. Oh, yeah. And today's telling in the day. I can answer some telonyms on stream. Uh, I have just a general text thing. Don't. Let's add a text that says telonym. Let's choose. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Just copy this, copy this, paste here. Uh huh, uh huh. It's getting fired up on the green. Chilling. I think I have a tolerable stomach ache again. But I'll be fine. Uh, it doesn't sound good. 
but I I hope that um, I hope that it gets better for you. What's the most bizarre food you've ever eaten? I don't know. I'm not really a big eater of bizarre foods. You know what I'm saying? So if we get rid of these these planes here. Uh, there should be a way for us to lighting. Render pass. Oh, no, we don't want that to change. Uh, what do we want? Maybe horse? I ate horse recently. Theme. 3D view. Uh, balut. Balut. What's balut? Loot. Ah, that's that is bizarre. I have not heard of that before. I think I would like it. Black Rose, is it Black Rose LVT or Black Rose LVT? What's up? <laughs> Hello. Be like when I say, "Hey, oh, Roselle, I see, but just Rose works. Just do it. I'm trying to figure out theme space. What? Pass that shell. It's quite the metal meal. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I could do it. Um. And you only drink the soup part. Uh, so you, do you do this regularly? <laughs> is that is that something? Is that something that is common, uh, commonly eaten where you are? I'm gonna say I recently had horse for the first time. It wasn't even that good. I think I think that's I think that's that's probably it, right? That's probably it. All right. Let's try this one. Oh no. I didn't even copy. You fool. No, you don't do it often because it will spike your blood pressure. It's more of a blue moon special. I see, I see. I want a perfect black background. All right, time for tutorial time. Boom, boom. 
In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the background of Blender perfectly white. And if we don't do anything about this, if we try to make it white, it turns out it's slightly off-white, and that can cause problems when we insert figures into papers or presentations that have a white background. So to speed things up a little bit, let's go into our render settings, and we'll use cycles, but EV would work just the same. And because we're not trying to produce the final image that's super high resolution or pretty, uh -huh. uh, I'll make the render just 32 samples. But that isn't a part of making the background white. That's just to speed up what's happening here. The other thing I'll do, I'll go into the output settings, and I'll make this figure just 800 by 600. Again, just to make the rendering fast so this video doesn't take too long. Okay, so here's where your steps actually begin. We'll go back to this camera. The other bizarre dish I had is jellyfish. Ooh, those are actually good. I have to imagine that would be extremely interesting to eat. Is it more like jelly? Or do you have to like cut it apart with a knife? I'm so curious. How do you season? How do you season it? I'm guessing you take out the poisonous bits if there are any. That's usually step one. Right. <laughs> Camera icon. These are all your render settings. And under film, we're going to check the box that says transparent. Then if we scroll all the way down under color management, it's set by default to filmic. We want to make that standard. The next thing we'll want to do is go up to composite. And we're going to want to use nodes. So I'll spread these nodes out a little bit. We're going to add compositing. Use nodes. Add a new node. We're going to go to alpha over and insert that right in between the two. And we want to go down to the second. We'll leave the first being the color we want to put in the background. This pre mall will set to one. And that's it. It will make our background this color. We can click one. Go down. A new node, we're going to go to alpha over. Add node. Alpha over. Insert between. And insert that right in between the two. And we want to go down to the second. We'll leave the first being the color we want to put in the background. This pre mall will set to one. And that's it. It will make our background this color. We can click on that to make sure we've got full white. And if we wanted another color, here's where we would set it. Maybe we want some kind of purple in the background. Yeah, but I don't. I want to stick with white in the background. So that is it. Let's go to the renderer and take a look at this. Notice the checkers in the background, and then boom, it replaces it with perfect white. And then, of course, we could save that as a PNG or whatever. So that's it. I guess that's a way to do it. All right. Oh. Uh, boom, boom. It's like a blob of meaty fish. Huh. Jellyfish is neither fish or jelly. We don't know what the fuck it is. It's in its own category. Isn't fish kind of a weird category, too? I've heard that fish is not a very specific category. Um, fish is kind of its own thing, right? All right. Okay.
Yeah, we do want a little bit more dramatic lighting, don't we? So I like... So let's do this one area light at a time, shall we? Um, where's my... Why? What? Oh, because I'm in pose mode. Show me the light properties. Here we go. Back when I was a kid, back when I had my last jellyfish, I was a kid back when I had my last jellyfish. You know, one, I've been wanting to eat it at a restaurant once again. Fascinating. Ray, I have to say, you've had a lot of more interesting food experiences than me. Uh, <laughs> I kind of grew up as a picky eater. I was one of those kids who, uh, you know, only ordered chicken nuggets because the burger toppings were too confusing and complicated. I've, I've grown a lot since then, but uh, there are still definitely things that I would or wouldn't eat. I would try jellyfish. Assuming it was prepared, you know. Well, <laughs> it's got to have a unique texture, right? All right, next question while I work on this. What song would you listen to, would you be forced to listen to on repeat in hell? They kind of make this light a little bit red. Uh, so this is the super bright light. I don't think we want that one. I'm a big eater if the food is just 90% water or smells like fish paste or anything sour like vinegar. I will maul the next thing I see. Yeah, I don't like vinegar either. I think this light needs to change, right? This light needs to, like... Um... Rotate on the Z and then grab on the Y. Uh, grab on the Z. It just needs to be a little bit taller and then maybe rotated down more. Rotated. Z. See more. Just give it, give it that little like. Background lighting, right? Keep it a nice warm color. Is green considered a warm color? Probably. Nice, nice. All right. Where's the where's the last area light? Oh, the directly above sort of light. Yeah, that's probably fine. Uh, what we should do is make it bigger. It's a warm healing color. Do a do a nice like soft direct overhead sort of light. Yeah, that looks pretty good. <laughs> My green is screaming with life personally due to its neon saturation. Yeah, green feels like the color that could go warm or soft, warm or cold. Depending on its hue. Maybe that's why I like it. I'm never a, the type of person to be forced into picking a single option. I always look at both sides of the situation. I prefer to go one way or the other. And, uh, yeah, I've always liked the color green. And maybe that's why. Because it can be 
bright and dark, cold and hot, yes and no, in and out, up and down. Look at me, I'm purple and green. They're opposites, and yet they go together well. Isn't the opposite of green red? Like, purple and green are tertiary colors? I don't remember that was also. Tertiary colors. Uh... Friend, friend, friends of a friend colors is really blue color wheel. Red and blue is a combo of purple. Okay, I'm pulling up a thing. Purple is complementary. No, wait. That's not the terminology. Purple's opposite is yellow. Purple and yellow are the opposite. Green and red are the opposite. Blue and orange are the opposites. Um, Oh, tertiary colors are the colors in between, like, green-yellow. That's a tertiary color. I'll be honest. I'm such a dork at color theory. I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> this song goes so hard, damn. Ooh, my internet is dying currently. The heck? Just casually dropping 5,000 frames. Um, this is... I'll type it in chat. There you go. Space Wax America by Anna Monaguchi. Okay, so we have camera one. This is the Miku Miku. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's they're a band, not a single person, but yes, they do Hatsune Miku Miku Uiu. Do I even have that song? I might, but it's not on this playlist because this is. Uh, this is a streaming playlist, so there's no like big lyrical songs on here. But but yes, they do Miku Miku. Miku Miku Uviu. All right, so. Blasphemy? I don't have it on here. It's it's a streaming playlist, bro. It's a streaming playlist, bro. I'm 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 trying to talk over this shit. All right. Um, but I need to pause pause the music anyway. Uh because I need to listen to this, right? 
Give me my audio scrubbing playback, please. You're hopelessly influential, influential consequential things you want to be. Uh, it's okay. Don't be scared of little me. I'm just messing around. So, at, hmm. I'm still I'm still trying to figure out this blunder timeline stuff. So at frame 572, we want to switch switch cameras. Um, and when we do, no wait, is that true? Exploded by the fun that you thought you were having. Let's do it at 6.50. So we want to switch cameras at 6.50, uh, which means I need to add a marker. Yep. I need to add a marker here and here. But we need to do this, we need to do this the right way. So, uh, we need to go to pose mode. Um, by selecting our guy skeleton. Come back on music. So what's the song that you would be forced to listen to on repeat in hell? Oh, man. Why is the internet, like, pumping in and out today? We're not disconnecting. We're just... The bitrate is randomly dying. Select my armature. Yeah, I have the armature selected. Why can't I pose the boy? Uh, Jerry Carlino, help me. Mark. Oh, you know, I should I should also do a um There are people Do we need to go to the dope sheet? Is that is that what it is? Where's my armature? Just going to keep saving just to, you know, make sure.
Okay. This is just a rendering thing, so it shouldn't affect anything, right? So we can select individual objects. and edit them still. But we want Actually, Let's also put a marker here. Can I rename this marker? Can I name the marker? Uh, marker name. Marker name. Lyrics start. Uh, cam two, and then this will be cam one. All right. We have the shape key editor here. You're hopelessly. Why can't I, why can't I change these values? Can't edit driven number values. See driver editor for the driver setup. Driver editor. Driver editor. Oh God. What do I do? Uh blender. Driver editor. Drivers. Okay, wait, this is make this bigger. Show me the driver editor. Head. Yes. Okay. Drivers. Huh? OK, 
Okay, now I can now I can edit it. Oh. Because we have bones that do this. Oh shit, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot what, what 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 was going on. Okay. We're still. Begs the question. How the fuck do I do this? Where's my pose mode go? Uh, blender pose mode. Need to select the armature object. So oh, it was off. Select the armature object, go into pose mode. Right. Uh, give me the sticks so I can see better. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. So in the drivers section, in the drivers section, we kind of fuck things up. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, Joey Carly, no. Help me now. Uh, playlists. Beginner friendly. Playlists. Where's your mouth rigging? Easy mouth rigging. And you have a weight of one. Uh huh. Shape key drivers. Put that over here. Um, two. Let's see. It's moving in the positive and negative direction, just like our shape key. Oh, but it's still not working because we still have it set to use the uh, five. All right. Do a limit location, and I'll just turn all of these on, and also change this to local space. And now it's back where it's supposed to be. So I want this to move in the positive y direction. So I can change this to something like point two. Let's see how that looks. So it'll only move this far now, which I think is good, but it's not actually turning our shape key all the way on because this is only moving point two and it has to move one unit for the shape key to turn on all the way. But we can affect that over here. Basically just edit the driver. And in this ex All right, so we need to go to object mode. The lips purse 
shape key. So it'll only move this far now, uh -huh. which I think is good, but it's not actually turning our shape key all the way on because this is only moving 0.2 and it has to move one unit for the shape key to turn on all the way. But we can affect that over here. Basically just edit the driver. Edit the driver. Driver. And then edit the driver. Add input variable. Drop. Dash skeleton. <laughs> Actually, can we do this? Copy driver. Ace driver. Edit driver. Control shut. Right. We're doing blend shapes per chance. We are. Z location. And I believe this one was like times five. Uh this is a very lyrical song, isn't it? Where my where are my playlists at? Oof. Sorry, prom night. There you go. Removed prom night from my uh, list. Okay. So now, back to pose mode. Oh, thank God it's working again. Okay. <laughs> oh. What song would you be forced to listen to on repeat in hell? You know, I feel like if it was a too short of a song, uh, you would kind of like eventually treat it as background noise. Yeah. I feel like if the song is too short or repetitive, <laughs> Drakengard, ugh. that playlist of Drakengard background music or like OST you sent me for working out, it was wild. Oh, didn't we hear this one? Something like that. I need to remove that one as well. Sorry, uh, Adam on a Gucci. There's just some songs that I can't have on stream because they are lyrical. I feel like if this song is too short or repetitive, you'll just treat it like background noise eventually. So my worst song would be something like a Mahler symphony. It's so long that I would have been eventually really appreciate the depth of the music 
But then, with infinite repetitions, I would experience the entirety of it turning into horrible, mindless um, annoyance. Right? Just a really long symphony. And, and you're like, uh, it would truly be torture to come to love something and then have it destroyed through repetition. Tough one, tough one. All right, we've got another question. <laughs> Strengthens the mind. Yes. Ooh, this is a long one. All right, who's the worst person you could be stranded on a desert island with, huh? Lots of negativity in these questions, I tell you what. I tell you what. All right. So we want to go to the shape key editor. No, we don't. We just want to go to the dope sheet. Or the timeline. Yeah, we want to go to the timeline. You're hopelessly amplified. So I want. Right before this, I want to insert a keyframe on control shut, right? No. We want to keep control shut where it is. I think it's control lips that we want to. So this makes him smile. Smile or frown. Yeah, we've got control lips here. I, I, I think that's I think that's fine. Let's just keep that where it is. Uh, what we need to do is we need to give him some eye move. Right. So. Let's look at him dead on. Through the camera, even. And try to find a good, well, maybe this way. Let's try to find a good rotation angle for these eyes. His eyes need more light, that's for sure. How are you lately, by the way? I'm doing good. That's what I want. Okay. 
so let's let's do some more keyframe recording. You're hopelessly anthropomorphic, influential, consequential things you want to be, exploited by the fun that you thought you were having. A rational distraction. Negligence. Yeah, and uh, this can come right to frame 650. Lately, I've been doing all right. It's it's been so hot, and I've got so much to do. Uh, oh no! Totally disconnected there. Why? Hey, do you have internet trouble? What? Yeah. Well, it seems seems uh, pretty 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 super. Why? 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 It's jumping between really strong connections and completely out f hi chichin oh my god i can't believe i got the the disconnect screen of death are we back welcome back thank you we got the disconnect screen of death uh Let's look at this through the camera. You're hopelessly amplified. Influential, consequential things you want to be. Exploited by the fun that you thought you were having. A rational distraction. <laughs> Isaac, what is this? Well, um... Good, good question. It's it's just a, it's just a, just a, just a fun thing. I can't do it without his eyeball going off weird. Why? Is this not parented to the right bone? This is Kambalan, it's true. There's got to be a better way to do this. Let's go to object mode. Select the eyes. Because right now we've got the eyes with an array modifier. Object offset. Can we offset it to the head? Is the relative offset what we're looking for? Okay. Place the eye. Select the skeleton. Go to pose mode. Rotate the head. Yeah, it still doesn't work. I mean, you can see what's happening here, right? Great news. 
I'm just now shading and coloring my waifu. Oh, who's your waifu? Okay, I think we have to apply this eye modifier. Unfortunately, that means that yeah, now now the rotation is happening incorrectly. So the question is, uh, in the armature, Can we? There's got to be a way to do this. There's got to be a way to do this. Maybe we just need to pair Pair, pair these bones together. Like, make another eye bone and just pair them together. Discord. <laughs> I'm still working on my Discord. It's it's not it's not open to the public yet. We're trying to get we're trying to get something going here. I think. I think I need to. I think I need. I think I need to edit mode. Right, right, right. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. This is how you add bones. So let's symmetrize this bone, right? No. Uh, yeah, no symmetrizing. Um, hmm. I'm noticing that the hair and the eyelids are not attached to the, the model very well. <laughs> Who's the waifu, though? Who's the waifu? We must judge your quality of waifu taste. Oh, my God. Uh... If you can even hear or see me. Is this thing on? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Modeling hell. I know. It's the worst. The worst. Um, so what I want to do is... This eye is now a separate object. So I want to duplicate this and move it over to this eye. Right, so it's relatively centered. So we have eye. Uh, this would be his left eye. Okay, and then we have I dot R. 
Okay. So now we select the eye. Oh, I see. That is unfortunate. We need to go into edit mode on the eyes. And just delete everything. Back to object mode. And now shift duplicate on the X. Make his other eye. And now they're separate objects. So if we select this and the armature, we can parent to a bone. His eye has flown off into a random direction. Uh, don't we have to like maybe like parent? Parent with bone, keep transform. There we go. So now go to pose mode. Please tell me this just works. It's still connected to the other eye. How do I undo clear parents now? I'm just dying. I'm just I'm just finding out how bad my my model was, really. Who's the worst person you could be stranded on a desert island with? Me. Me, your wife, that's who. Get out of here with your, 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 your wife, who. Just turn, turn shit off. Just turn shit off. Uh, okay. The fact that you might, they had to restart again might be hell. It's true. Um, right, we set up limited rotation on this. And it looks like the limited rotation is, in fact, working. But we've still got it parented to this object. Why can't I undo the parents? Worst person would be anyone who just uses me as a stepping stool for them to get out. Yeah. What are you rotating around? You're clearly parented. I'm, I'm just so sad about this.
Jay Carly now. So an easy way to do that is to go into edit mode, select the target bone right here for the leg, and then select the foot and parent it for it in the description. So basically with all of those selected, you can change the target from object to bone like that. And then down here, you want to type in period L because this is the left side of our character. And with all those selected, you just hit add suffix. And now you can see there's a period and an L the L stands for left. So now that we have that, mm. you can select everything what and then right click really? and choose symmetrize right here. And that is going to I'm look dying, for man. all of the bones that end with a dot L or a dot R and just flip them to the other I'm side. Dying. So yeah, you can see how this one what now is, is target dot arm dot L and this Surely one is target dot arm dot R. So renaming all your bones like this might seem kind of weird, but it Surely actually helps you a lot when you get to posing. Like and I'll talk about... <laughs> Okay. We need to go to pose object mode. Here we go. Okay. This is linked to i.l. Yes. This should only be linked to i.r. Is I dot R. Bones. And this is bone I dot R parented to the head. Inherits the location. Okay. It's a deforming bone. It's parented to the head. All right. Go back in the object mode. Select the eye. Uh, Alt P, clear and keep transformation. So it's not parented to anything. Have you watched a movie called Train to Busan? Train to Busan. Uh, no, I haven't. South Korean action horror film. Oh, wait. Zombie apocalypse on a train. Uh, that's pretty cool. Good concept. Good concept. All right. Why is there no I dot R here? Yeah. Okay. Just get rid of IR. Just get rid of it. We have the IR bone, the right eye bone. It has its rotation limited. 
have this bone, which works perfectly. So we're just gonna make object mode. I'm gonna go here, duplicate this object. All right, eyes a one. Just delete the, delete the, no. Give me the I, the R bone. The right eye bone. There is no right eye bone. So just get rid of the get rid of the modifier. Let's try adding object guy skeleton. Is there an I dot R bone? No. No, there's not. So we've got the eye, select the eye, select the armature, right? That's how you do it. Uh, it's right here. Now I'm gonna go back into object mode right here and we can start parenting our mesh to the armature. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna select the body right here, shift select the armature, control P and choose all right now much like the head we don't want this to deform with everything so control oh god damn it no i don't want to print a youtube page control p control p to bone okay All right, that's working correctly. That is working incorrectly. Why aren't they being treated like two objects? What did I just undo? Okay. In object mode, select the eye. Select the skeleton. Go to pose mode. Select that bone. Parent to the bone. Okay. This is working now. Holy shit! Ah! <laughs> okay, I was doing things in the wrong modes. So now, what I believe I can do, I can take this, add bone constraint, uh, a copy rotation. And we copy the rotation of IL. So now, Oh my God, it works. I'm a fucking nightmare genius.
You're hopelessly analyzing influential, consequential things you want to be. Exploded by the fun that you thought you were having. A rational distraction. So now the ultimate test of if we did this correctly. Uh, pose mode. Select the head bone. Yeah. Now, uh... Rotate that. <gasps> Holy fuck! Okay. <laughs> Train the bussin, more like. Let's go. All right. You're hopelessly amplified. Influential, consequential things you want to be. Exploded by the fun that you thought you were having. A rational distraction. Negligence. Holy shit. Holy shit. You're hopelessly analyzing influential, consequential things you want to be. Exploded by the fun that you thought you were having. A rational distraction. Oh my god. Life has a purpose. Life has a meaning. Who's the, who's the type of person who would absolutely um, throw you under the bus? Huh. This is the type of person who would absolutely throw you under the bus on a, on a desert island. Um, anyone who would kill me and eat me to survive, probably. So, Cannibal Lecter? Yeah, that seems like a good answer. Good answer! All right, next question. Why are these questions so long? Turn the music back on. So what's funny is my my friend uh, watches these streams who does 3D modeling. And I'm sure that um, at this point in the stream, when uh, when I am at my lowest, uh, she will be yelling at the screen about what I should have been doing for the past hour. Well, shame and fire. I did it. Slowly but surely. I went to the bottom and now I rose back to the top. The long path ride rises up before you. We're still dropping frames like crazy, though. This is a VOD Watchers stream, really. It's the internet, and the internet at this place sucks. Internet at this place sucks. Uh, I'm actually going to be moving to a new, uh, new place soon. And we're hoping. We're hoping that the new place. Oh, God, it disconnected completely. Come on, you punk. Connect me. Okay. Sorry for all the disconnections. What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Um, all right. It's time to add camera to. So I know how to do this. We go back into object mode. Deselect that skeleton. Add a camera. A camera two.
Uh, all right, that's uh. Not an ideal location for the camera. So, um, yeah. So let's see. Uh, we need to move the camera over here first. And then make sure that it's at the right angle here. And now if we look through the camera, ah, we get a much better picture. So let's uh, lock the camera to the viewport. Oh, and I want this to I want this to be at 650. So delete that keyframe. And And we're going to have him turn to the camera in this moment. In this moment. OK, we've created our keyframe here. Let's unlock the camera. And. So tutorial time. So I have my camera motion set up for both of my cameras. Uh -huh. And I'm just going to switch back to my first camera right here. So now I'm going to set up animating the camera switching. So basically what you want to do over in your timeline is um, is insert some markers where you want the cameras to change. So to do right. that, you can either go to marker right here and add marker, or you can just hit M. So I'm gonna hit M, M just on the first frame right here. And that's going to be where our first camera is. That's where it starts and where we want it to switch. So I'm just gonna look through my camera and figure out where I want it to switch. So maybe around frame 100, we can add another marker right here. And basically, you just want to go over the marker now, make sure your camera is selected, and while hovering over your marker, you can hit Control-B, and that's going to make the camera switch at that point. So then we go to this next marker, which is frame 100, select your camera, hover over your marker, and hit Control-B. So now you can see once it gets to frame 100, it'll switch like that. Hover over your this selected, and while hovering over your marker, you can hit Control B, and that's going to make the camera switch at that point. So then we go to okay. So we have this camera selected. Hover over this marker. Oh no 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 no. Control B. So then we have camera O one at 650 uh <laughs> at 650 hover over this marker control b so let's let's watch bunch of consequential things you want let's watch on a beam exploded by the fun that you thought you were having a rational distraction beautiful <laughs> beautiful all right, so I also want to do a bit of a Dutch angle here to emphasize the fact that this is not a, a rational distraction. So let's rotate this on the, would that be the local Y? No. Uh, rotate this on the local X? No. Uh, 
birth events on the local Z. There we go. A rational distraction. It's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. All right. Thank you, Judy Curly. Now, I didn't even mean to do it like moving like that, but it, it's perfect. So now uh, we have to select our armature, go into pose mode, and do things like this. Um, at frame 649. We want the rotation of the thing to start. And then uh, we are rotating it on the Z. And rotating it on the Y. No, on the X, or maybe a little on the on the the Y. He needs to be looking at the camera. Then you thought you were having a rational distraction. <laughs> Uh, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. You're hopelessly influenced. Influential consequential things you want to be. It's more than by the fun that you thought you were having. A rational distraction. Negligence, the devil, and development, malevolent. Maintenance and patience make the excesses irrelevant. Your soul is null and voided. The grind is never ending when you're being exploited. Now, I think what I can do here is... Your camera to rotate to look at an object, but instead just like follow it, copying the location. Instead of using a tracking constraint, I would use the copy location constraint. You can use this directly on your camera right here, but I usually like to use it with a pivot point. So you can select your pivot point and choose the copy location constraint and then just select your target. So I'll select this white car right here. So you can see that it's not rotating at all to follow it. It's just um, copying the location. And if you try to move it around, it won't really work unless you click this offset button. And now you can see it's offset, but it's still copying it. And if you want it to be exactly where it is, you can just uh, Alt G to reset the location. And you know, if you want this to be off it around, it won't just um, copying the location. And if you try to move it around, it won't really work unless you click this offset button. And now you can see it's offset, but it's still copying it. And if you want it to be exactly where it is, you can just uh, Alt G to reset the location. And you know, if you want this to be offset a little for a different composition, um, that's an easy way to set this up, but still have it follow. So this will always be on the side of the screen if you do it like this. You could also parent your pivot point directly to your object. And I usually do without inverse, so it snaps directly to it. But you can see when we do this, it's going to rotate with it also. Um, this is a cool effect, but you know you might not really want this. There's also a child of constraint, which basically does the same thing, except it lets you change the influence so you can turn it on or off like that. So next I'll explain auto keying. And for this, I'm just gonna delete our pivot point right here. Okay, so
My, I'm doing this way wrong. I see, I see. I need to select the head, add an object constraint, a copy location to the camera. Is that right? So then if I select the armature, pose mode, and we like, oh, that's the wrong bone. Yeah, the camera's not following the head. Let's watch this one more time. your camera to rotate to look at an object but instead just like follow it copying the location instead of using a tracking constraint i would use the copy locations constraint you can use this directly on your camera right here but i usually like to use it with a pivot point so you can select your pivot point and choose the copy location constraint and then just select your target so i'll select this white car right here so you can So next we'll talk about making a pivot point. So when I first started Blender, basically what I was trying to do was make characters and then make a camera that revolves around it or orbits around it, kind of like a turntable. Um, and that's pretty hard to just move your camera around like this and have it always be focused on your character and have it actually be like a circular path. So the easiest way I found out to do this and just a, a nice way to control your camera in general is with a pivot point. So usually what I do is uh, add in an empty with shift A, and it can be any of these things, but I like to use a plain axis like this. And then I'm just going to reset the location of our camera right here with alt G, and I'm just gonna pull it back a little so it's pointing directly at our, uh, at our empty right here. Then you just wanna select your camera, shift select your empty right here, and control P to parent like that. So now you can see when you So let's... Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can do this uh, here. Let's just move our new empty. Right into this guy's head. Uh huh. I like to use a plane axis like this. And then I'm just going to reset the location of our camera right here with Alt G. And I'm just gonna pull it back a little so it's pointing directly at our, uh, at our empty right here. Then you just wanna select your camera, shift select your empty right here, and control P to parent like that. So now you can see when you move the empty around, the camera is following, and you can also rotate it, and it will just pivot around that empty. So if I wanted to rotate around this lizard, I would basically just set this to where I want to revolve around. So I'll say just like around the head, something like that. And I can just rotate this on the Z axis. And you can see it's revolving around in a circular path now, like that. Uh, one cool thing about using a pivot point like this is if you scale the empty up and down, it basically just makes the camera zoom in and out, which makes it a little easier to control while you're actually... That is... You didn't hear the answer to the last question. What's the funniest movie you've ever seen and what moment made you laugh the hardest? Oh, it's a tough question. It's a tough question. You know. All right, so my, my things are still working correctly. Um. 
Funniest movie ever. That's hard. I'm too serious by nature. I only laugh at my own antics. Oh, the train to Busan. Oh, right, because we had so many frames drop. Uh, no, I haven't seen it, but it sounds like a cool concept. So now if I take this pivot point, your camera to rotate to look at an object but instead just like follow it copying the location instead of using a tracking constraint i would use the copy locations constraint you can use this directly on your camera right here but i usually like to use it with a pivot point so you can select your pivot point and choose the copy location constraint and then just select your target so i'll select this white car right here so you can see that it's not rotating at all to follow it it's just um, copying the ah. location and if you try to move it around, it won't really work unless you click this offset button. And now you can see it's offset, but it's still copying it. And if you want it to be exactly where it is, you can just uh, Alt G to reset the location. And, you know, if you want this to be offset a little for a different composition, um, that's an easy way to set this up, but still have it follow. So this will always be on the side of the screen if you do it like this. You could also parent your pivot point directly to your object, and I usually do without inverse, so it snaps directly to it. But you can see when we do this, it's going to rotate with it also. Um, this is a cool effect, but you know you might not really want this. There's also a child of constraint, which basically does the same thing, except it lets you change the influence, so you can turn it on or off like that. So next I'll explain auto-keying. Okay. We've now... Uh... Copy the location of the head to the pivot, and the pivot is uh, linked to the camera. So now, if we look at the camera. Influential, consequential things you want to be. Exploited by the fun that you thought you were having. Irrational distraction. Negligent. There's one asshole who fucked up every character in the movie. So with that island question, he fits. Ah, yeah, that's 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 fair. So now we should be able to. After the camera switch. We add in a marker here. Uh, we call this marker standing. Uh, we select this we go to pose mode all right and we just uh wait now we select the entire skeleton insert location and rotation keyframes to the entire skeleton here And now we need him to stand up. So how do you stand up actually? So if you're like this, oh God. Got it broke again. I hate my internet. I hate my internet. I hate my internet. I hate my internet. Why is this? Why is this being like this? I've done everything, everything I could do. It's funny that I'm a clown, but I tend to be serious at most times. Well, I think that people who are the funniest are the people who tend to look at life the most closely. Blame either Bitret or ISP. It's ISP, man. It's, it's, it's ISP, man.
I hate it. I hate it. But, um, okay. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, how do you stand up from this position? So first thing you do is you push yourself up with your head following. You push yourself up, you leave your hands where they are, but your head is following. So I think first thing he would do is rotate on the X of this bone. Yeah. Okay. So let's... Let's get to 800 as our first... Our first movement. Okay. So... Rotate this on the X. Oh, and let's auto-generate keyframes, please. Rotate this on the X. At the same time we're rotating that on the X, we need to rotate this on the X so he still looks like normal. Negligence the devil and development malevolent. Maintenance and patience make the excesses irrelevant. Good, 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 good. Um, so at 800, uh, we need the hands to be a little bit higher. So let's just grab this bone and move it up here. Because they're starting to dip into the desk here. Not that this can't be janky. And I guess let's rotate this. Uh... Yes, that's fine. But also on the local Y. If we look through the camera, it didn't follow the head. Probably because this is in pose mode. I didn't think about that. So what we need to do then is go back into object mode, go to 700, or go to this marker. Seven or six. Uh, select the empty. Location, rotation, and scale. And then at 800, we want this to be moved here. Scaled up and rotated a little. And that should fix our camera. So we have got our first, our standing. A rational distraction. Negligence, the devil, and development, malevolent. Maintenance and patience make the excesses irrelevant. You're All right. So that's our first movement of standing up. Next movement of standing up. I'm doing these in person. You push yourself up with your legs. So let's get out of camera view. And so next we've got, uh, how long will this take? Let's have it take another 100 frames. So into pose mode we go. Uh, let's just grab this on the Z axis and then grab it on the Y axis. And then, of course, we need to move the hands again. All right. And then, of course, go back into object mode.
And at 900, we select our empty and we want to move it. in line with the head. A little more like that. And then maybe even a little bit more down. Okay. So let's watch this through the camera. Uh, Action. Negligence, the devil, and development, malevolent. Maintenance and patience make the excesses irrelevant. Your soul is null and voided. The grind is never ending when you're being exploited. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. And we can do some like light lighting changes as well. Uh, we need to pose his eyes. Uh, select. Pose mode. Select that eye bone. And look, they both move in, in tandem. Wunderbar. There's no good way to... Oh, right, right, right. This is what I want. All right. Set me up the auto keyframes. A rational distraction. Negligence, the devil, and development, malevolent. Maintenance and patience make the excesses irrelevant. Your soul is null and voided. The grind is never ending when you're being exploited. Swiss cheese. Good, 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 good. A rational distraction. Negligence, the devil, and development, malevolent. Maintenance and patience make the excesses irrelevant. Your soul is null and voided. The grind is never ending when you're being exploited. It's working. Uh, <clears throat> so we have the area lights on, right? At frame 900. Uh, in object mode. Amen, brother. We turn off these two lights. Yeah. So. Uh, how do I, how do I, how do I easily do that? Volume down. Custom distance. Uh-huh. We want to select, we want to add a keyframe to something. And then at 900, and, well, you know what actually, actually we could do? We don't need a keyframe on power. Can we insert a keyframe on color? And then at 901, uh, just change the color to like super dark red. Do the same thing on this area light. Insert keyframe, 901. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. So now let's watch through the camera. It's null and voided. The grind is never ending when you're being exploited. <laughs> it's a little corny. It's a little corny. But it works. But it works.
So I'm almost wondering if just to eat some nachos. Uh, other music off. You're hopelessly influential. Influential consequential things you want to be. Exploited by the fun that you thought you were having. Irrational distraction. Negligence, the devil, and development, malevolent. Maintenance and patience make the excesses irrelevant. Your soul is null and voided. The grind is never ending when you're being exploited. Swiss cheese starting to get moldy. You fill a hole. Never ending when you're being exploited. Let's just get that perfect little setup there. Set our endpoint to 9:38. So now I think can we can we can we safely say that this is a complete scene, right? Imagine the background is black. You're hopelessly influential. Influential consequential things you want to be. Exploited by the fun that you thought you were having. Irrational distraction. Negligence, the devil, and development, malevolent. Maintenance and patience make the excesses irrelevant. Your soul is null and voided. The grind is never ending when you're being exploited. Gotta start somewhere, so corny go. Indeed. All right. Uh, render outputs. We want this in video format. We want it as an MPEG. Uh, we want the audio to be MP3 is fine. Uh, we want the audio included. Um, and yeah, that's like a full scene, right? So now if i start rendering this as an animation uh there should be something here though right so so How do I make a black background in Blender? Rendering with dark backgrounds in Blender. One, I'm Adam Kelly. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get pure black backgrounds in Blender instead of that sort of ambient gray that is set by default. So I've been super busy lately and I haven't had a lot of time to create cool Blender scenes to use as examples. And uh, Kayla has had some Blender experience in the past and she volunteered to make a cool little scene for us to illustrate this effect. So we have these uh, walls, it's supposed to be kind of like a Sorry, dungeon bro. sort of effect here. And she made this lantern with the candle inside of it. And if you render it with the default settings, what you're gonna see is, you're gonna see the candle, it looks really cool but there's sort of this unnatural lighting that happens along the walls. Uh, with a normal candle, you would at least see some shadows and you probably wouldn't see this at all. So what we need to do is change one little setting that's going to make it so that the world is completely dark. So what we have to do is just go into this little world properties tab, and then you see that it has this gray color here by default. What this means is it's got this ambient color that's sort of illuminating everything. World properties? surface in the scene and also acting as a background. It's as simple as changing the value down to completely black. And then when we render it, you're going to see that the scene is much darker 
and a lot more realistic. Now we have this light coming only from the candle, from the flame, and this area up here is much darker. So this should help if you're doing very low light scenes where you don't want to have any of that ambient color that's coming in. And you'll notice it. Okay. Let's try that. No. What, 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 what? Okay. Color. All the way black, please. All hail the mighty Sir Isaac. I don't know about that. Sorry, I can only watch and can't listen. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Good to see you. At my annual eye checkup symptom. Ooh. <gasps> Going for the eye checkup. Yeah. It's even a stronger effect if I hide the walls here and just do a quick, I'll just put on the rendering mode here. So here, this is sort of the rendering mode if you have it set to black versus that default value, which is gray. And especially if you're doing like a night sky or something like that, you're definitely going to want to set this to black. So hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, let us know what you thought in the comments. That's, that's, that's better. Okay. Okay. Potentially good. Yes. Ah, oh, okay. All right, well, it's going to be rendering for a little while. Uh, let's turn on some music, shall we? And uh, what's, let's see. Artist, no. <laughs> No. Uh, what's the funniest movie you've ever seen and what, what part made you laugh the hardest? Um, my go-to answer when I say my favorite comedy movie is Airplane. Just because it's got so many, um, so many good, uh, can I, can I actually, oh no, wrong one, wrong one. Okay, we can watch the render happening together. Uh, my go-to answer for favorite comedy movie is Airplane because it's just because it's just got it's just got so many good jokes, jokes and puns. Uh, what's my what's my favorite? What's my favorite joke and pun or pun from Airplane? Uh oh, what moment made me laugh the hardest? Mm. There's tons of good ones. I can't believe you don't call me Shirley. Uh, what's a hospital? It's a building with huge people in it. Uh, I don't speak jive. Um, uh, all the stuff with like the Mayo Clinic and all that sort of stuff. Tons and tons and tons of cool, cool things. But I wonder, what's, what's the funniest?
I kind of like I kind of like the I picked the wrong week to stop doing something joke. Like I always laugh when the guy says I picked the wrong week to stop uh and it's all this stuff he's trying to quit <laughs> in the same week. <laughs> like, like, come on, man. Just, just, he's going cold turkey on like 17 different things. Pretty, 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 uh, pretty rough. All right. Next question. Next question is, what's happening between you and this one person? Uh, pretty generic, but I guess it's just, just asking for local drama. Do I have any local drama? Do I have any recent drama? Do I even? I don't know if I do. Uh, I just accepted a new commission. How about that? Oh, here's something that's happening between between me and this one person. Uh, this one person uh, is taking a really long time to answer my Discord messages and they drop me they drop me a little uh reply every once in a while but they don't they keep they keep on not answering the question that I originally had I don't know, I closed a few chapters while making new ones right now. Chapters of... Chapters of interaction with people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna submit that. That seems fine. How to handle an unwanted pregnancy. How to handle an unwanted pregnancy? Why is this question on my telling? Um, I'm not even going to ask the, the chat for this one. It's like, uh, if you don't want it, then abort it. How <laughs> it's the best option. Don't bring random humans into existence if you're not willing to care for them. Oh, God. My stream dropped again. I've been canceled. My stream dropped again. I've been canceled. I've done been canceled. Look how smooth the lighting is um, when it's rendering. It's kind of crazy. Like, my modeling is shit. But the lighting looks great. You got such tiny ears. Hello, are we back? Are we back? 
<laughs> I'll throw hands against the ISP for you, Isaac. Thank you, Ray. I need I need them to be clown bombed, whatever the hell that means. Bomb them with clowns. Um, the question was how to handle an unwanted pregnancy. If you don't want it, abort it. It's the best option. Don't bring random humans into existence if you're not willing to care for them. Please. Oh, got it. Broke again. Um, hey, how are you? Is a question on Telenum. Finally catching up on this website. Oh, wow. Uh, personality or looks? Personality all the way. I have lots of fictional crushes who are sweet and kind, but I have no patience for rude, rude people, even if they are very, very, very hot. Which is true. Reconnection successful. What fictional character would you like to be for a day? And what would you do? This is actually a good one. Oh no, it's just, it's just, it's just dying. Internet is horribly dying. I'm pretty sure I just went offline because it's been too long since I connected. Well, at least the VOD is here. I can't even raid because it's offline. Blech. Yeah. Shall we stop? I think so. Well, to you watching the VOD, uh, thank you for thank you for joining. Uh, thank you for catching up if you watch the, the normal video and, and you're trying to watch the VOD. Uh, we can't even raid right now because it's like on and off so much. So I'm just going to end stream. My name is Isaac Anzu. Uh, Blend is going to keep trying to render. I'm looking forward to a week from now when maybe I'll have a new place and better internet. Maybe two weeks. We'll see. Anyway. Goodbye. Have a good day. I'm sorry about the stream quality. Mwah.